Before I give this dog a much needed transformation, she is going to have a play date with Lupa so that she's more relaxed for her grooming. This is Kachina, and she's a two year old standard poodle. Lupa and Kachina have grown up together, so they make the best of friends. Stay tuned until the end of this video to see Kachina's epic transformation. Come, 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 oh, funky lady! As you can see, we are a bit of a hot mess today. She's still matted. Originally, I had a plan of something that I wanted to do with Kachina today. But because she is matted, I unfortunately have to revise my plan. Oh, girl. I am taking her body down in my number seven wide blade. I'm going to do the best that I can to save her legs and the top of her head. And then I shave her face down in a reverse 10 blade. My favorite thing about working with poodles is that their coat type gives us the ability to do a wide variety of different haircuts. Before her bath, I'm going through the top of her head with my mat splitter. I'm going to brush it with my slicker brush. That way it makes it easier for me to work with once she's dry. Look at this crazy head of hair of yours. I am bathing her today in my deep cleaning shampoo first because she is quite dirty after playing with Lupa. The standard poodle has a life expectancy of 10 to 18 years, and they can weigh anywhere from 40 to 70 pounds. These duck hunters are made for the water. They are great with children and other pets, and they are extremely intelligent and eager to learn. In my opinion, they are the most underrated breed of the dog world, as many people usually just see them as foofy accessories. In order to brighten her coat, I gave her a second wash in Brilliant Black Shampoo. And now it's time for Kachina to show me her cat-like abilities. Once she was dry, I go over her with my coral slicker brush, and then I go over her again with my metal comb. I smooth over her body with my seven blade. I shave her ears in my number 10, and then I go over her legs with my wide blade comb attachment. If you're a groomer and you're not using wide blades, can I ask why you choose to torture yourself? Then I do the best I can to blend her legs into her body using a combination of my chunkers and my thinners. Due to the location of some of her matting, it will be difficult to make her legs look perfectly blended, but I will do the best I can to make her look cute. I tidy up the edges of her ears, and then I shave her face again in my reverse 10 blade. Using my very long curved shears, I tidy up her top knot. I clip her nails. I spray her down in bubblegum cologne and I bet you that her owners aren't even going to recognize their beautiful dog. 
Just take a look at this amazing before and after. Of course, at the end of her groom, she gets another play date with Lupa. But they're not allowed outside because Kachina has to stay clean for at least five minutes. Stay tuned until the end of this video to see some funny bloopers. Coming up on our next video, we will be showing you some footage from our recent charity event and announcing how much this community raised for Niagara Dog Rescue. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the clownish Kachina. Lupa, you're crying and it makes it sound like Kachina's crying and it's not Kachina. So please stop crying over there or you're going inside. Lupa knows you give empty threats. <laughs> Kachina! Whoa, what a crazy lady. Hey, look at me with that afro. Oh, wow.